The Portland City Council will be holding a listening session for proposals for the next fiscal year's budget. On the chopping block are cuts for public safety, including the city's fire bureau. And Box 12's Connor McCarthy spoke to the Portland Firefighters Union president and joins us live in Northeast Portland to tell us what's being proposed. Connor? Yeah, well, Pete and Riel, just to be clear that these budget cuts are simply a proposal and no decision has been made by city council. But on the chopping block is public safety, including Portland Fire and Rescue. And the president of the local union says any budget cuts will impact stations across the city, including this one here behind me on East Burnside, and the community will feel an impact. Two months away from the next fiscal year for the city of Portland, and the debate over the next budget is just beginning. What uh, I'm led to believe is there's a significant amount of revenue loss in the city, and what that means is uh, cuts across the board. Isaac McLennan, president of the Portland Firefighters Association, says Portland Fire and Rescue could see some significant cuts the next fiscal year. Our ability to protect people, to save lives and property and the environment, it's the, the very, we cannot cut frontline services and do our work. According to the city budget office and PFNR, the Bureau has an $11 million deficit, mainly because of the use of overtime and the end of one-time pandemic funds from the federal government. Bureau leaders say they propose many options to the city budget office to reduce expenses, including the reduction of core services in the emergency operations division, eliminating three two-person emergency trucks that operate in southeast Portland and closing one fire station. The Fire Bureau says they haven't chosen which specific one yet, but McLennan believes it will be Fire Station 23 in Inner Southeast. The station just opened within the last year with one-time federal money through a grant. If a station closes, that means the resource is coming from three or four minutes longer and doubling in size in those that period of time is extremely dangerous. McClendon says there are long-term solutions to solve the Bureau's budget deficit and plan for the future, but putting critical public safety services on the chopping block won't help. I'm personally prepared to testify uh, uh, to, to the, the council and make sure that, that they're highly aware of what it means to cut frontline resources, what that means to the community when they call 911, and it's, it's deeply concerning for me, and I'm going to do whatever I can to bring awareness to that. Now, Pete and Riel, I did reach out to Commissioner Renee Gonzalez's office for comments since he is, a head, he is the head of the Fire Bureau, but I didn't get a response back. Now, those listening sessions, that first one starts tonight at 6.30. The next one is on Saturday at 10 a.m., and the one after that will be Monday at 6.30 again. Now, the city has until June 30th to pass a budget because the next day, the new fiscal year starts. But for now, reporting live in Northeast Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon. All right, Connor, thank you.